Motors and welcome back to the Self Main Auto Channel. We're on location. So we got called out. Uh, we're down at another uh, local shop and they've got this little hot rod here. So it's a 2005 Chevy with a 6.0 in it. Uh, you know, G Series van, box van. Uh, it was brought to them by one of their customers. Uh, as a, you know, no, uh, didn't run. You know, crank, no start, I guess. Um, they've begun to look at it and have, have done some things to it and I uh, can't really make heads or tails as far as what's going on so uh, he asked me the customer called one though if I would uh, take a look at it for him and um, so I told him would I uh, just came down here the shop owner just left uh, but in the meantime I had, I had checked it out there's no codes uh, it does crank okay um, and I just verified that there is no spark and no injector pulse and that's where we're at um, so I thought I'd bring you guys along and see what we can figure out so there she is. Uh, it's pretty obvious it's been tinkered with. Uh, but like I say, well the guy was here, I went ahead and just pulled this coil wire. I got no spark. I pulled the injector wire. Uh, I did test with Tesla. We do have power at the injector, um, but no, you know, no injector pulse. Uh, I see the cam sensor has obviously been replaced. It's here on the floor. He told me he did a crank sensor. He did some injectors. Um, got something going on here. Some extra ground wire action or something there uh, so I thought just for the heck of it if I remember correctly um, being that we have no no you know no reference no spark you know injector pulse uh, I thought we should check the cam sensor power just out of curiosity to see if we have power at the cam sensor because I think it shares the same power and ground that the crank sensor does and you know maybe we can find the problem up here as opposed to you know going underneath the vehicle so should have so our orange wire here should be this should be our power feed and then our brown with white should be signal return to double check let me just double check that real quick yeah that's right so brown with white that's going to be our cam signal supposed to be and then our pink here should be our pink with a black stripe should be our sensor ground so let's uh, get our meter fired up let's see. take that stuff off so let's see pink with black should be ground orange it's gonna be our power uh, we'll just take and pop into a graphing meter. I'll take and cut the key on here. I got a charger on the car right now. All right, so we got 11, 11.32 volts there. Um, all right. Thought these were a 12 volt sensor. I don't know if 11.3 is happy enough. Uh, let's just make sure that's. Let's make sure that voltage stays while we crank it. It's interesting, it drops down to 9 volts when we crank. I don't think the starter is dropping down that much. Let's go to our output side here. Um, I'm going to pop back out of here. We're going to go right into the scope, being that we're right here. We'll get this set up on the scope so hopefully we can see our cam signal. Uh, so, channel 1, let me just. Uh, get this set up here all right let's see turn off uh, our trigger turned off okay so we should be good let me just uh, put this kind of on a long time basis here we'll just do one second across the screen all right get you guys where you can see let's see if the key is on and we have no cam signal all right, let's see, I'm just going to pop back on and I'm going to give us a different ground instead of using the sensor ground, I just want to go on the block, I want to see if we get any different reading here. Get a good, good ground here, and 11.17 11, 11 there, I just want to see what our uh, 
our sensor voltage drops down to when we crank here. Let's see. 9.75. It's interesting. We don't have a, <laughs> we don't have any cam signal. There's the old cam sensor they took out. All right. All right. So just for the heck of it, I took. Oh, that's my bolt. I popped the. Uh, Pop the original cam sensor in it because <laughs> it appears that uh, our new NEW never ever works. Uh, doesn't work, and I'm just kind of curious as if perhaps the old, the original one still works by any chance. So I just pop that out. I don't mean to be cutting the video short, but uh, I foolishly didn't charge my. Uh, camera because I just got done shooting a video before uh, he called the end of the day and I didn't have my extra battery charged so anyhow let's see what uh, see if we got anything here hey look at that fella we got cam signal sweet so there's our cam signal it does uh, appear pretty good the peaks are only about maybe nine you know, nine volts ish. Um, it's the only thing that has me a little bit concerned, but we are cranking it, so our you know our cranking voltage is going to drop it down. Uh, but it does appear to be pulling all the way to ground, which is important. Um, I'm curious at this point if we have crank signal now, because uh, supposedly the crank sensor is also new. So we'll come out here under the hood. I managed. Four hours later to get our uh, ECM covers off. These things are a bear to get off, uh, particularly without breaking them. So only uh, only one little casualty there. Uh, but there's our ECM it hides down there in the corner. Don't see any anomalies there as far as big rusty crusty. Uh, and theoretically, when we're testing stuff like crank sensors and cam sensors, we should be checking them at the ECM. But that was pretty convenient in there, and now we know we had a crappy cam sensor. But uh, we're going to be in this first connector. Pin 12, it should be yellow, according to my info here. Um, so I'll get you guys set up. I don't have my cart, man. This is difficult. So let's see if we get to the pin 12. That's always uh, kind of the trick when you're not set up as a mobile guy like Keith is, you know, what do you bring? <laughs> you know, tool-wise. You bring everything. I always tend to bring as much as I think. I think I should bring. Uh, pin 12, all right, pin 12, she's way up here at the top, good. So I'll dig this out, a bit jammed into her, away from the connector. So we can go back through with some liquid electrical tape and uh, get that fixed up. Oh, you guys can't see crap, can you? I'll show you where we're at. Oh, I'm stuck here. So let's see, so pin 12 should be our crank reference. Oh, that was a foolish way to reach that. And then I'm into pin 21, which should be our ground, our low reference to the sensor. Take our light back out of here. We'll go inside. We'll crank it over. Did you guys notice that once we restored cam signal, uh, that we also were had the ability to crank the engine longer instead of that short, you know, a little two or three second crank. Oh, that wasn't me shutting the key off. The ECM was killing it. So we'll go right back in our scope. We shouldn't have to change any settings. So let's go see what we got. Have to get you guys out of the glare here. So key off, key on. We got nothing, fellas. Uh, we better check the 12-volt uh, reference to that. Very interesting. 12-volt so supply to... Crank sensor is supposed to be pin two, which I think it said it was light green. Yep, we got a light green. Let's stick my light back down here. We'll grab that. Don't mind my arms. All up in your way, I know you're trying to see. So there's pin two. I'll just snag it right here. Our lead over here, and I don't know if you guys can see or not, but we've got 
four or five volts on that wire. The question is, do we have it while we crank? Let me just, uh, I'll get you guys set up here. We'll just do a really long screen as long as we can. There's 20 seconds across the screen. Hopefully you can see it. Let me go crank it. Maintain it. Yep, we maintained it. So a little bit of voltage drop. Hopefully you guys can. I don't know what you got for glare there, but uh, we did maintain power. But we definitely, on the yellow trace, have no crank signal. Wouldn't it be something? They put two sensors in it, and they're both junk. <laughs> well, let's see. Make sure that we got a good connection. Yeah, we got a good connection. Oh, the crank sensors on these are a pisser to get to. Um, we're going to have to try to get to it at least to, uh, you know, check termination there. Man, this is like some straight DIY stuff right here. I'm laying in the grass, folks. <laughs> and this van is rough underneath. Uh, that is the crank sensor connector hanging there, that brown one. Um, I'm going to see what we have there. So I think our... What was the wires? Was it yellow? Was there 12 volt? Why can't I remember? Um, I tell you what, we've got our we've got our advantage right here. We'll get set up on this. This is wicked hard. I feel so DIY. I put in our year making motto. Let's see. Oh, crank sensor right on top. Component info. This will give us our colors. Should hopefully uh, yellow signal. Uh, 12 volt is light green. Okay, 12 volts light green. So we want light green and purple. We want to make sure we got power down here. Pop back out of here. Come on. Ah! I'll click happy on you. Alright. Purple, light green. Get my little probes here. I'll keep you guys set up right there. Key is on. I did verify that. All the wires in this thing went brown. Oops, can you guys still see? Let's see. Uh, da, 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 that one looks like green. Oops. Ah, so much easier on the lift. Light green. Where are we at? Get my other wire here. This one's going into purple. I don't know if I got the polarity correct, but what do we got? 0.53. So what am I reading that right? Like green and purple. Alright, so now we obviously are missing something because my memory is about as long as uh well never mind, we'll leave that one alone. This is a rated G channel. Let's pop back in. <laughs> I cannot remember anything. Oops. Okay, so we're supposed to have 12 volts on light green. Purple's ground. 12 volts on light green. Everybody remember that. Come on. Alright, light green is supposed to be 12 volts. Ah, damn it. It popped out on me. Let's see here. So we're going to go back into our sensor ground, the correct polarity. Light green is supposed to be 12 volts. That should be it. We're at 0.85. Let me just find a different ground. So I'm staying in the light green wire and I'm going to try to ground our probe on something else. And I can't see crap. Did it go up to 12 volts? Light green. It did not. It went to 0.65. That's grounded on the exhaust manifold. Okay, that's handy. That was our light green wire. Man, I wish it was broke like right here in front of my face. That's light green. Let me just give it, the, let me give it the old Keith tug test. He likes to tug on things. Light green, where are you little guy? You're just gonna have to go with commentary folks because I can't show you crap. Let me just give this a little tug. It's not tugging out. I don't know where this harness goes. Light green. No, it feels pretty solid. 
Um, the starter is right here, so let's check the ground side. Let's make sure our ground is good. Hopefully you guys can still see, because I can't. So let's see, we're gonna ground. Dang it all the heck. I cannot see these wire colors, purple. All right. My ground lead is in the purple side of the connector. I'm gonna come up here and touch the starter with my other lead. Maybe, hopefully, i try it. What have we got there? Anything? Well, it's coming up. This, this connector on the starter is like wicked green. Let's see. What have we got? I can't see sugar. There we go. Well, we got 13.4 volts. Is that what that says? 13.4 volts. So we've got a good ground. So we are missing the power feed. Let me just make sure I'm on the right wire. Because that would be embarrassing. Light green, right? Light green. Like I said, these wires are all kind of crappy looking. So we can, we can trust our ground. That's one thing we do know. So there's that back into the light green 0.74 but the good thing is we know that we've got power at the ECM so we don't have to track it back to there hopefully you guys saw that what we got to do is look at OEM diagram see if there is another connector somewhere along the way so I got us an OE diagram here uh, it doesn't appear that there's any connectors in between so our light green uh, comes right from the crank sensor uh, right up to the ECM so it is broke somewhere in between I'll have to do some digging All right, so I followed our wires uh, they come up on this harness that's wrapped with heat tape I see they went through the inner fender here or near this flap so I just pulled that back I believe this is going to be our guy now we've got two light green wires in here unfortunately uh, however the one is a much bigger gauge um, so I'm going to take a we're going to take a gamble. We're going to grab this one right here where we can. Right where it's easily repairable too. We're going to see, grab our scope lead here. If we have 12 volts, let me grab a ground. And there we have it, 0 0.02. So it's broke ahead of this. Now, you might uh, beg the question as to why it's not, you know, the 0.56 or whatever it was. That's because I got the sensor plugged back in. Uh, so what I'm thinking at this point, why don't we grab a test light, hook it to power, you know, test that wire, make sure, you know, not on some, you know, ground wire, make sure we don't, uh, it can't carry current. And then um, I say we, you know, keep 12 volts to it, see if it starts. So I've got our, uh, our scope on a rope. I feel super out of place and uh, gotta apologize for all you guys working at home got a much bigger respect just had to get that out in the open uh, so I just verified that our test light does have 12 volts at the tip so we'll see so our test light does not light so that's a good thing let's see if we can't get it to uh, get it to stay in there I'll stick it through the rubber here that'll help hold it fancy DIY right <laughs> use what we have out here I guess uh, so theoretically uh, the test light should you know supply 12 volts to that safely so if we're on the wrong wire nothing bad should happen I believe we are on the right wire um, let me turn off our scope here because we don't need that and now moment of truth we should have 12 volts back to our um, back to our crank sensor so Let's see if it runs. Up in here. Let's see. Ah, sweet baby. like it's skipping like crazy here. Uh, oh, yeah, we want to date it. 
Definitely sounds like it got a pretty bad misfire. Cylinder six and eight are better than a door now. Well, going out with the old Alto here, it's updating pretty slow. Yeah, it looks like six and eight are the biggest culprits, but not my problem. That's the key right there, baby. All right, guys. Simple as that, I guess. Um, obviously, this wire is broke from somewhere here up towards the ECM, and we know it doesn't have any connectors as long as our factory wire diagram's right. Uh, so at this point, um, I'm just going to stop until I talk to this guy in the morning. You know, let him know what I found. Let him know what's wrong with it. Let him know that he had a you know a bad cam sensor, and you know he's obviously got a broken wire. Um, I don't think he wants to pay me to you know track down a wire that. You know they certainly can do here in their shop um, I'll tell them which wire it is I'll leave this all open here I'll probably leave the ECM all undone too uh, that way there they can you know if they want to make a decision to you know cut the wire and you know reroute it and hook it up down here and you know call it good that's that's totally up to them uh, personally I would find where the wire is is broke uh, now this harness I see goes around up on top of the intake manifold, you know, loops around the engine and down back around and then over to the ECM so there's a lot of potential for you know issues uh, I gave it a quick visual inspection, didn't see anything. Um, you know, I was looking for like, you know, a bracket or, you know, they, they just put the injectors in this, you know, maybe they, you know, pinched a wire in an accident and, you know, and it, and it opened. Uh, we know it's not a short to ground because we had our ghost voltage on it with, um, oh gosh, with it unplugged. So we do know that. Uh, and I guess that's it, you know. Uh, if, if indeed he does want me to come back and find the broken wire, I certainly will. I'll bring you guys along. Um, I kind of enjoyed, you know, coming out in the field, I guess we'll call it, uh, literally, <laughs> and uh, doing this and, uh, you know, glad to bring you guys along. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it's not our standard SMA. We didn't have our, uh, didn't have a little cart and it was kind of hard to have the camera and still try to be efficient. So apologize for that. And uh, that's it. Anyhow, in the comments, let me know what you think. If you like this video or if you didn't, let me know why. And uh, give us a thumbs up if you did like it. And also, while you're doing that, make sure you click the subscribe button, click the notification bell. Check us out on Google Plus and Facebook and also on Patreon if you want to support what we do. We certainly appreciate that in each and every one of you. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.